What's up guys, that really gross guy here, and we are back, and we're going to talk about some more stuff that came from Tenocon updates, some things that are in the works, and those today uh, that we're going to talk about are weapons and warframes, including prime weapons and a prime warframe. I am so excited to get underway. So, Tenocon. Tenocon was phenomenal. It was amazing. I uh, hope you guys are checking out the videos that have to do with Tenocon because there is so much to cover and there's so there are there are so many good things that happened at Tenocon. It was phenomenal. But uh, with that said, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna go weapons and the first weapon that I want to talk about. Uh, I'm going to kind of mention a little bit briefly. This is the weapon Kur Kusari <laughs> Kusarigama by Kaz Adams. This is a concept that was given to us in the recent weapon contest and they are making it. Not only are they making it in game, but there is actual footage and I have that footage. I actually showed you guys in another video uh, what uh, what this weapon is like in game because we actually got hands on experience with this thing So make sure you check that out I'm gonna make sure there is an annotation or something for you guys to check out so either up in the corner or in the description Feel free check this thing out. This thing is sick. So with that said Grenier, let's stick on the Grenier path Let's go Grenier loadout. There is this loadout kind of bundle that is going on and you can see here this the, the the this on the left are these attachments these really cool kind of grenier uh, armory like attachments and dude they're cool i i like it i like it i like it i like it so weapons over on the right so there we got this pistol over here pistol slash uzi type thing um i don't know w the magazine where is what's the magazine how does this thing gonna load is it that little thingy in the back that little pack in the back i don't know the pack in the back <laughs> anyways uh, this may be just a pistol, some kind of magnum, some, something along those lines, or we'll see. I don't know if it's going to be a beam weapon. I don't remember what, exactly what they said about this pistol, but I'm pretty sure it is a pistol. But up top, you see this thing. What could that possibly be? Now, yeah, you had to ask, you know. So this is going to be like a quad barrel rifle of some sort. Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure they said it's not a shotgun. They kind of mentioned, they were like, it's, it's going to have like these I don't know if it's going to be burst fire, like a four round burst, but it's a rifle and it, it, it is it is supposed to be one hell of a rifle. It looks cool. Uh, Grenier, come on, come on. Hey, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Anyways, next up, Corpus. Moving on to the Corpus. So that shotgun we were all hoping for, well, here it is. It's getting a little bit of an update. Uh, the last picture that, you know, we saw with the Corpus shotgun or whatever. This is the new and improved beautiful looking shotgun. This thing looks strange and even says it's kind of a strange shotgun. It's kind of got a uh, an animation or some sort that makes this thing unique and I am excited to get my hands on it. That looks great. Now this pistol, this pistol up in the left hand corner, you're like, what is that all about? Um, I believe the way it's supposed to work is similar to the Seer. Uh, the seer that Captain Vor has that you can get or drop or whatever, uh, it's like a pretty strong uh, pistol, but it's like a scoped pistol, which is a little odd, but they're like, you know what, it's fun, you know, it's a fun thing they could do and try and whatnot, so Corpus Sniper Pistol, let's do it, that sounds cool. So yeah, there that is, so um, moving on from the Corpus loadout, the Corpus bundle, we are really excited to talk about the colorable vandals that's right so all the vandals that were like dude oh, i don't know i just i like i like these weapons so much but i want to color them my own color well guess what there you go you can do that you can do that it's coming up soon we are going to be able to color all of our vandals and i am so excited about that i am so glad uh this uh this is now an option thank you de um i can't remember the artist's name uh specifically and i i i i Part of me wants to say who I think it is, but at the same time, I don't want to give the wrong credit out, you know. But uh, thank you very much. I saw you up there on the stage, and uh, you're great, dude. You're awesome. You're awesome. I, I love you. Anyways, moving on. Color. You, you're like, wait, so you can color the vandals. What about them? Wraiths. That's right. Yes, you can. Look at that. Wraiths. We can now color wraiths as well. Thank you so much. I am so excited about this because I really... I like these weapons because of their, their stat increases and all that stuff. And I just I just want my colors. I want my colors. And now I can do so. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. So next up, 
moving into some more weapons. But these weapons are uh, themed for a very specific reason. Glass weapons. You're like, wait, glass weapons? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too quite sure I understand. So you can see we have this uh, gigantic... Is that a hammer? I don't, is that a hammer or, a, or like a axe? I think it's an axe because if that's a sheet of glass up there, that thing will slice you open. But if it's a hammer, that's going to be a one big block of uh, block of glass. But anyways, I think it's going to be uh, like a giant, uh, you know, it's a heavy weapon. Probably probably an axe. It looks pretty sick. Looks pretty sick. But then there's this pistol. You can see it has a revolving chamber. So Magnum, possibly? It looks good. It looks, it looks great. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, up top, um, we have this uh, back attachment. What's I don't this back attachment cyanide type thing? Uh, it it looks kind of cool, honestly. It looks kind of cool. It's got these uh, curved glass kind of shapes within it with this kind of cool cosmetic. I'm down. Now, if you look over to the right, now, at first I was like, oh, wait, are those little daggers? I don't think so. Now that I kind of look at it, I think those are throwing knives. It looks like that is like the pouch, and within that pouch contains these little knives. And I think those are meant to be thrown. I think that's meant to be like a sick throwing knife glass knife dude oh give it to me i want it now please please okay moving on glass warframe oh dude this is the warframe that we were all kind of like nobody knew what this thing was gonna be everyone was like a pharaoh frame i'm not quite sure i think it kind of has like a pharaohish kind of slight aspect behind it i don't know but um now when we talk glass he said I want you to think glass, but I don't want you to think glass as like the shatter glass, like you like glass that you know your window or something you can break. He said something like, like the forging of glass, the creation of glass, heating it up in a, like a foundry and like just this 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 molten kind of feel. I guess that has to do with this frame, and it's a little bit abstract, but I'm digging it. I'm digging it, but. I mean, we've had some good frames these past these past few frame releases. I mean, uh, Octavia, in my opinion, fantastic. Nidus, fantastic. Uh, Haro, dude, I'm loving Haro. These these frames recently have been been good. This thing, I hope this thing is just as good because if it is, oh boy, oh boy, that's all I'm gonna say. Moving out of the uh, the the new regular stuff, we're gonna get into prime stuff yes prime attachments right off the bat prime attachments now some of you are like well i'm not buying the pack so uh, i'm not too sure I'm, I, I'm assuming these are going to come with the new prime uh you know with uh, attached to whatever that prime is wink wink coming soon i'm gonna let you know in about a minute so i got these prime attachments i'm a, i like it i like it but I'm typically farming these at this point, um, so uh, take it or leave it. Do you like it? No, maybe kind of, kind of. I, I mean, I do like them, but mm. okay. Prime Sugatra. Uh cool. Uh, to be honest, I look at this and I go, dude, just just redesign this into a dagger, or a badass sword. Like, like, could you imagine that as like a heavy blade? Oh my gosh, please, <gasps> please. Anyways, let's go. Um, so. Prime, 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 prime. Nami Skylas. Oh, dude, look at these things. These things look so nice. I love this, like, uh, the cutlass, like, like the, the handle that goes around it and the way it just flows. Just, just sit here for a second and just look at the curves. Look at those curves, guys. Oh, please. I want them now. I want them now. And then that knife, that little, look at that thing. is cool. It's like a Chris. I think they call it a Chris. The K-R-I-S nice give it to me i want it i want it okay now that we've uh, looked at the uh, you're like what other weapon could possibly be coming with the uh, prime frame how about that how about that prime ballistica dude this this is one of my favorite looking uh second like like probably weapons in general this thing but this prime ballistica looks awesome i don't know i don't know what you guys think about it but the gold in the the just the way that shimmers and looks please uh i'm i keep i just want this stuff now now that i've seen it oh i want it and of course prime frame prime frame guess who hydroid prime dude so hydroid has been uh received a little bit of hate recently uh people are not too fond of hydroid i personally like him but i do understand uh his faults and because of that, I haven't really been playing them all that often. But 
usually when we get to frames or prime frames and stuff like that, they usually get a nice little look at and tend to get buffs or just reworks. They tend to get a rework. So I'm really hoping we get a pretty solid rework for Hydroid because, oh, come on, let's let's get some good Hydroid love. Oh, anyways, so that is it. Look at look how cool he is. Look at how cool he is. That is it for primes. And you're wondering, wait, didn't we cover weapons, primes, attachments, all that stuff? What could possibly happen? What, what could you possibly be talking about? Now, I'm going to leave this a little open-ended. Sorry, but that's because these are some important weapons we're about to talk about. And these are modular weapons. These are weapons that can be crafted not just crafted, not just like you go to your forge and do a thing. These are weapons that are crafted by comp like components. Like like you can pick the hilt, you can pick the blades, you can pick the, the, the shaft. Is that the proper way to term? But anyways, these weapons are going to be created. These are custom-made weapons. Yes, you heard it, custom. What, what do I want? How, what do I want the handle to look like? What do I want the blade to look like? Do I want this serration on it? Something, like, look at that. Look at that. Those, all those weapons can be made using parts, like a little, whatever. Just, uh. And with that said, with that said, guys, the video that came out that reveals the big reveal includes what is going on with these weapons to a degree. They're talking about a, uh, a weapon uh, anvil. It's like a shop. It's like a forgery, but it's different from the forgery we have now. Check it out. I'm going to make sure that the uh, link to the big spoiler reveal is in there if you have not seen it yet. But this, these are the mystery melees. These are modular weapons that you can make yourself. And I am so, so excited for this. So excited. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys are excited. Let me know what you think in the, uh, the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for a whole lot of Tenocon stuff, and including a vlog that I personally did myself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, blow.